BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Men! Let's go get a blessing. Turn to the book of Bereshit, Genesis chapter 3. Vamos al libro de Genesis, capítulo 3. Genesis chapter 3. Genesis, capítulo 3. This is um, Triennial Parasha number 2, part E. Este es el, el Parash Trianual número E326. Okay. And 002, part E. 002, parte E. E. A, B, C, D, E, part five. Parte <laughs> cinco. So um, uh, we've spent, we're going to spend the, the, this uh, study tonight, uh, hopefully finish up parasha number two. Vamos a tratar de, de estudiar este parasha, eh, esperemos terminar este parasha número dos. All right, we're going to start um, by reading uh, chapter three. Vamos a empezar leyendo el capítulo tres. Because it's been two weeks since we've been here. Porque no hemos estado aquí por dos semanas. Because we took a little break last week, so let's turn to Genesis, Bereshit chapter 3. Nos tomamos un descanso la semana pasada, así que leamos Génesis capítulo 3. And let's read the chapter so we get back into, see, it, it's very important for us to um, understand the context when you're breaking down the parts. Vamos a leer el capítulo 3 porque es muy, muy importante entender el contexto para poder regresar al estudio. So Genesis chapter 3, let's read it all. If you're reading in Spanish, please read it all yourself. Genesis capítulo 3, si estás leyendo en español, por favor, lee todo el capítulo. Now the serpent was more crafty than any wild animal, which Jehovah Elohim had made. He said to the woman, did Elohim really say you're not to eat from any tree in the garden? The woman answered the serpent, We may eat from the tr fruit of the trees of the garden, but from among the, about the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, Elohim said, You're neither to eat from it nor touch it, or you will die. The serpent said to the woman, It is not true that you will surely die, because Elohim knows that the day you eat from it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like Elohim, knowing good and evil. The woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it had a pleasing appearance, that the tree was desirable for making one wise. She took some of its fruit and ate. She also gave it to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. He was with her. Okay. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves loincloths. They heard the voice of Jehovah Elohim walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. So the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Jehovah Elohim among the trees in the garden. Jehovah Elohim called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid myself. He said, Who told you? You were naked. Have you eaten from the tree which I had ordered you not to eat? The man replied, The woman you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree and I ate. 
Yob Elohim said to him, What is this you have done? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me to a yay. Yob Elohim said to the serpent, Because you've done this, you're cursed more than all the livestock, wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and eat dust as long as you live. I'll put animosity between you and the woman and between your descendants and her descendants. He will bruise your head and you will bruise his heel. To the woman he said, I will greatly increase your pain in childbirth. You will bring forth children in pain. Your desire will be toward your husband, but he will rule over you. To Adam he said, because you listened to your wife. What your wife said, and ate from the tree which I gave you the order, you're not to eat from it. The ground is cursed on your account. You work hard to eat from it as long as you live. It will produce thorns and thistles for as long as you, for you, and you will eat field plants. You will eat bread by the sweat of your forehead till you return to the ground. You will be ta- for you were taken out of it, and dust you, you are dust, and you will return to dust. Man called his wife Hava, because she was the mother of all living. Yovel he made garments of skin, around him and his wife, and clothed them. Yovel Elohim said to the man, said, See, the man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Now, to prevent him putting his hand to taking the, from the tree of life and eating and living forever, therefore Yovel Elohim sent him out of the garden, being the cultivated from which he was taken. So he drove the man out and placed east of the garden of Eden a cherub, the flaming sword, which turned every direction to guard the way of the tree of life. Amen? All right, now we're going to go back to slide number 40, if you're on your slides. Nos vamos a la presentación a la página número 40. Slide number 40. Página número 40. We're going back to a, a slight review of verse 4 and 5. Vamos a hacer una pequeña revisión del versículo 4 y 5. Verse 4 and 5. Versículo 4 y 5. The serpent said to the woman, It is n- not true that you will surely die because Elohim knows on the day you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you will be like Elohim, knowing good and evil. Amen? Okay, so here the key is in verse 4. Aquí la clave es en el versículo 4. Serpent said, la serpiente dice, it is not true. Que no es verdad. In verse 5, Elohim knows. En el versículo 5, Elohim sabe eso. Your eyes will be open. Sus o- que los ojos iban a ser abiertos. Be like Elohim. Que, y ser como Elohim. Okay. So here, um, Java is talking to the fallen angel. Aquí vemos que Java está hablando con el ángel caído. The angel that has the unrighteousness in him. El ángel que tiene uh, el, lo injusto en él. Okay, in verse 4, en el versículo 4, we see the first recorded lie. Vemos la mentira que la primera vez que se que miramos la mentira en la escritura. When Hasatan said it is not true. Donde Hasatan dice que no es verdad. Okay, so that's the first recorded lie. Esa es la primera mentira que está haciendo que estamos mirando en la palabra. Anytime somebody questions the word of God, you know it's from the adversary. Cada vez que alguien está cuestionando la palabra de Dios, Sabemos que eh, viene del adversario. So God never changes. Dios nunca cambia. Once he says something, una vez que él dice algo, he's going to keep his word and not change. Él, él va a mantener su palabra él, y no va a cambiar. People change, but God does not. La gente cambia, pero Dios no cambia. In Malachi 3, verse 6 says that. Malachi 6, versículo 3. Malachi 3, right? Malachi 3, ver, chapter, chapter 3, verse 6. Malachi 3, capítulo 3, versículo 6, dice that God does not, Jehovah says of himself, I don't change. Que Jehovah está diciendo a sí mismo que él no cambia. So there's two types of death. Hay dos tipos de muerte. There's the physical death. Es la muerte física. And the spiritual death. Y la muerte espiritual. So here Jehovah said, 
that you're going to die if you eat from that tree. Aquí Job está diciendo que vas a morir si comes de ese árbol. And uh, that would be separation from God. Eso sería la separación de Dios. Okay. Um, in verse 5, let's read verse 5 again just for a little review. Leamos otra vez el versículo 5 para la revisión. Because Elohim knows that on the day you eat from it, your eyes will be opened and you'll be like Elohim knowing good, for, good and evil. Okay, in that verse, en ese versículo, he entices Hava. Está uh, incitando a Hava. It's like the worm on a hook. Es como ese worm. Your worm like you're fishing. Oh, como un gusano en, un, en una caña de pescar. Okay. Oh. All right, who's ever on Skype that just got in, please mute your microphone, please. Thank you. Hey, right, who's ever there? I'm going to give you one more opportunity or we're going to drop you from the call. Okay. Um, so, Satan knows that this would be something very good. Satanás conoce que esto no va a ser algo bueno. And then the unrighteousness comes into Hava. Y esta, este injusto se acerca a Hava. Because she's like, hmm, being like Elohim, that might be nice. Y él dice, él se pone a pensar, dice, hmm, siendo como Elohim, debe ser bueno. Okay, because look at verse 5 again before Mira, we move on to 6. Miremos el versículo 5 otra vez. Yes, Gino, you did. Okay. Because Elohim knows on, that on the day you eat from it, your eyes will be open, and you will be like Elohim, knowing good and e good from and evil. Okay. So what happens here? Lo que sucede aquí is she begins to covet. Ella empezó a codiciar. Because before that she was fine. Porque antes de esto ella estuvo bien. She was fine being in the garden. Ella estuvo bien estando en el jardín. Doing whatever. They were doing in the garden. Haciendo lo que ellos estuvieran haciendo en el jardín. They were naked and they were not ashamed. Ellos estaban desnudos y no tenían vergüenza. But as soon as somebody says you can do this. Pero apenas alguien dijo que tú puedes ser esto. If you just break this rule. Si simplemente quebrantas esta regla. Now there is one rule. Hay una regla. Jehovah Elohim said, don't eat from that tree. Que Jehovah Elohim dijo que no comas de ese árbol. He never said you can't touch it. Él nunca dijo que no puedes topar. But it's when we covet somebody else's life. Pero cuando codiciamos la vida de alguien. See, one of the things that we as followers of Yeshua are supposed to be. Una de las cosas nosotros como seguidores de Yeshua debemos ser. We're not supposed to be like the normal people. No debemos ser como las personas normales. We're supposed to be set apart. Nosotros debemos ser apartados. God set up rules. Dios él puso unas reglas. And made us different. Para hacer que nosotros seamos diferentes. So what I find so amazing about this account, lo que encuentro de asombroso en esta en esta cita bíblica, everything else was theirs. Que todo, el, que todo el resto era de ellos. All the animals were theirs. Y todos los animales eran de ellos. All the trees were theirs. Todos los árboles eran de ellos. One thing that you couldn't have. Una cosa no podías obtener. And that's what Satan used. Y eso es lo que Satanás utilizó. And that's what he's still using today. Y eso aún se sigue, él sigue utilizando hasta hoy en día. He doesn't change, he just changes his masks. Él no cambia, él simple cambia su máscara. So what, look at verse 5 again, then we're going to move on. Mira el versículo 5 otra vez. But because, because Elohim knows that, that on the day you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like Elohim, knowing good and evil. Amen? Amen. So Satan says, eat. Satanás dice, come. Remember, Hava said, touch. Recuerda que Hava está diciendo, tocar. Satan will use the word of God because he knows the word of God. Satanás utilizaría la palabra de Dios porque él conoce la palabra de Dios. But it is we, the humans, that 
sometimes know it but don't understand it. Somos nosotros los humanos que, uh, que nosotros conocemos, pero no entendemos. So remember Hava said, if we touch it. Recuerda, Hava dijo, topamos. But Satan did not say that. Pero Satanás no dijo eso. Look at verse 5. Mira el versículo 5. Because vez. Elohim knows on the day that you eat from it, your eyes will be open. Uh -huh. And you'll be like Elohim knowing good and evil. Okay, so Satan is enticing, saying, go ahead, eat. Vemos aquí que Satanás está incitando y inculcando a los hechos, vayan y coman. You know, uh, he was giving that suggestion. Está dando esa sugerencia. So he gives two suggestions. Le está dando dos sugerencias. The one suggestion is, eat from the tree. La una sugerencia es, vaya y coma de ese árbol. And the other suggestion is, you're going to be like Elohim. Y la otra, la otra sugerencia es que ellos iban a ser como Elohim. So, we don't know if she ever thought about that before. No, no sabemos, no conocemos si ella pensó en eso antes. But also, Adam is right next to her. Pero también vemos que Adam está junto a ella. I know there are some people that don't understand the scriptures that said Adam was not there. We, read, we just read it. Yo sé que algunas personas no, no entienden las, las escrituras, pero dice ahí que Adam estaba al lado So, both of them are coveting being like Elohim because they're both listening. Están los dos, es, los dos que estaban ahí están codiciando el ser como Elohim. ¿Por qué? Porque los dos estaban escuchando. Because remember we read the chapter. Recuerda que leímos el capítulo. And after she bit the fruit, she gave it to her husband. Y después que ella mordió el fruto, lo entregó a su esposo. It doesn't say that she had to go find her husband. No dice en la escritura que ella tuvo que ir a buscar a su esposo. She gave it to him. Ella le, le dio. That means... Él. You know, it doesn't say she threw it to him. No, dice que la tiró la fruta donde estaba él. Kicked it to him. O que ella pateó la fruta donde estaba él. Went and found him. O, o que ella fue a buscarlo. She gave it to him. Ella le entregó a él. So she, Adam's with, within an arm's, maybe a little bit over, an, anywhere between arm's length and a little bit more. Quizás Adam estaba a una distancia de su brazo. Uh, de, de distancia. So he's listening to this conversation. Él está escuchando esta conversación. All right, let's go to the next slide. Próxima página. Let's now look at verse 6 and 7. Miremos el versículo 6 y 7. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it had a pleasing appearance, that the tree was desirable for making one wise, she took some of its fruit and ate. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both of them were opened and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together to make themselves loincloths. Amen? So we see there very clearly in verse 6, Vemos ahí muy claramente en el versículo 6, that Adam is with her. Que Adam está con ella. Okay? He's not somewhere on the other side of the gar garden, Picking no apples. <laughs> no está en el otro lado del jardín cosechando manzanas. So let's let's underline our Bible key words. Subrayemos en nuestras Biblias las las palabras claves. In verse six. En el versículo seis. Uh, we, uh, we should underline we saw. Po podemos señalar donde dice vimos. Pleasing appearance. O donde dice una apariencia placentera. Desirable. Deseables. Making one wise. Que, y hacerlo. Um, what verse is that one? Uh, six. Making one wise. Uh, eh, oh, oh, que estaba. Era muy presentero para, para contemplarlo. Took some. Tomó algo. Its fruit. Su fruto. And ate. Y comió. She. Ella. To her husband, a su esposo, with her, con ella, he ate, él comió, verse 7, the versículo eyes, siete, versículo 7, los ojos, realized, darse cuenta, percataron, sewed fig leaves, cosieron uh, hojas de, de higuera, loin cloths, hacerse vestimentas. See, what you want to do when you're reading 
when you're doing a study in your Bible. Lo que tú tienes que hacer cuando estás haciendo un estudio en la Biblia. You want to mark up your Bible with a highlighter. Debes tú marcar tu Biblia las partes principales con con un marcador. Okay, your Bible. Uh, you should have a good paper Bible. Tú deberías tener una una Biblia de de de, de papel. Because if the if the volcano explodes by your house. Porque si un volcán explota por tu casa. One of the things you want to leave with, with quickly is your Bible. Una de las cosas que tú vas a a a tomar cuando tú corras de ahí va a ser tu Biblia. Or if the power goes out, o your si phone is going to not have a charge unless you have a solar charger. Y si o porque si la luz se va, tu teléfono no va a tener suficientemente batería. So you should always have a good paper Bible that you use as a study Bible. Tú siempre de debes tener una Biblia um, en papel para poder visualizar y, y estudiar. And when you're doing this type of high level study, y cuando haces este tipo de estudios de alto nivel, you want to mark key phrases in each sentence. Tú, tú tienes que marcar las claves principales en cada versículo. Okay, and then look up the, what the word means in Hebrew. Y después uh, observar el significado de la palabra en hebreo. But also, even if you don't do the Hebrew. E incluso si no, si no chequeas en el hebreo. You want to, uh, Brittany, could you put the PowerPoint? It's the same PowerPoint, Evelyn, that we've been doing for four weeks. Okay, um, you want to then look at the phrase. Tú, tú tienes que mirar la frase. Study the phrase. Estudia esa frase. Okay, so now we're going to go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Let's read verse 6 and 7 again, please. Leemos otra vez el versículo 6 y 7. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it had a pleasing appearance, that the tree was desirable for making one wise, she took some of its fruit and ate. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her. And he ate. The eyes of, of both of them were open, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together to make themselves long loincloths. Amen? Amen? Okay. So one of the things that I like to point out with, with this part is that we should be more responsible que nosotros deberíamos ser más responsables. Now, as we've talked about over the last four weeks, como hablamos por las cuatro últimas semanas, maybe Adam and Chava really didn't understand what death meant. Quizás ellos no entendieron lo que significaba una muerte. But you know, because they didn't even have a do their dog die. Porque no 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 tenían no no sabían lo que era que el perro se les muera. Or a cat or a goldfish die. O un, o un gato o un pez dorado. Okay. So maybe they didn't fully under, comprehend what death was. Quizás ellos no comprendían lo que, es una, que era la muerte. Now that has a twofold understanding. Eso tiene dos entendimientos. God doesn't care if you fully understand. A Dios no le importa si no entiendes completamente. He was still going to hold them responsible. El aún los, los va a hacer responsables de eso. And that's why we should be even more responsible. Y es por eso que nosotros deberíamos tener más responsabilidad de esto. Because even if a leadership, let's say, of like the Jerusalem Council. E incluso en el liderazgo, de, hablemos del, del concilio de Jerusalén. Say, you don't have to worry about the whole of Torah. Que dicen que no, de, no, no te debes preocupar de, de, de la Torah. You're still going to be responsible for all of Torah. Incluso vas a ser responsable de toda la Torah. Because Revelation 20 verse 12 says so. Porque Apocalipsis 20 versículo 12 dice. All the, all the dead are going to be judged on what's in the books. Que, todo, que todos los muertos van a ser juzgados por lo que está en los libros. So Adam may not have fully comprehended what death is, but we should. Quizás Adam no entendió en, completamente lo que es, pero nosotros sí deberíamos entenderlo. You know, some people say that there's not really a heaven in, in the Old Testament. Como algunas personas dicen que en verdad no hay un cielo eh, que podamos encontrar en el Antiguo Testamento. Well, then where did the chariot go that was on fire? Entonces, ¿de dónde se fue el carruaje cuando estaba en fuego? When it carried Eliyahu away. Woo! 
cuando se le llevó a Eliahu. And where did Yeshua ascend to? Y a donde a donde se fue Yeshua cuando ascendió? He ascended into heaven. Él ascendió al cielo. So here we turn back to Genesis 3. Aquí en el en Génesis 3. And let's read verse 6. Leamos el versículo 6. There was a reason I did that whole little piece. Es una razón por la que yo me hice toda esta esta parte aquí. Let's look at verse 6 again. Miremos el versículo 6 otra vez. Okay, verse 6. We'll get to your, look at your question in a minute, Miss D. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food, that it had a pleasing appearance, and that the tree was desirable for making one wise, she took some of its fruit and ate. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Amen? Amen. Now, actions without thoughts acciones sin pensar doesn't mean that you're going to get out of the responsibility of your actions. No quiere decir que tú te vas a librar y, de, y no tener responsabilidad sin tus acciones. So she took the food. Ella tomó el fruto. Now every tree was pleasing in appearance. The Lord said that in chapter 2. El Señor está diciendo en el capítulo de, de capítulo 2 que cada árbol tenía una apariencia muy muy placentera. So she takes the food, she takes a bite. Ella tomó uh, comió el fruto, mordió el fruto. Adam doesn't like stop his wife. Adam no detiene a su esposa. Because may you know He's probably desiring being like Elohim at this point too. Quizás él a este punto él estaba también deseando ser como Elohim. But the th she didn't think what was about to happen to her. Pero ella no entendía qué es lo que estaba a punto de suceder. And that's what the church does today. Y eso es lo que la iglesia hace hoy en día. God's just gonna just love me. Dios simplemente nos ama. Because God is love. Porque Dios es amor. Well, God never changes, right? Dios no cambia, ¿verdad? Did God kick Adam and Chava out of the garden? ¿Acaso Dios no sacó a Adam y Chava fuera del jardín? Yes, he did. Sí, sí lo hizo. And he didn't allow anybody else back in it until y, you're dead. Y no permitió a nadie más que entre de vuelta hasta que so, tú estés muerto. So in verse 6, en el versículo 6, she shows a total disrespect of her husband. Ella está mostrando una falta de respeto muy grande a su esposo. And Jehovah's word and authority. Ya yeah, la palabra de de Jehová y a su autoridad. See God does not respect people. Dios no respeta a las personas. He wants obedience. Él quiere obediencia. He desires obedience. Él desea esa obediencia. Okay? So she disrespects Hava disrespects her husband. Hava falta le no le respeta a su esposo. Because who gave Hava the word? Porque quién le dio a Hava, quién le entregó la palabra. Well, who was born first? Quién nació primero? Adam was born first. Adam nació primero. And Adam gave the word as man gives the word to the world. Adam le, le entregó la palabra así como el hombre da la palabra al, al mundo. So Adam had the biggest congregation on the planet. <laughs> Adam tiene la congregación más grande del planeta. He had a congregation of one person. Él <laughs> tuvo la congregación de una persona. And he gave God's word y to él, the one he loved most. Él compartió la palabra más preciosa uh, con la que él más amaba. Because when Hava was made right, pero cuando Java fue nombrada, he said, "This is alas, bone of my bone, flesh of my flesh." Dice yo 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 pido, I mean, ella es sangre, ah no, carne de mi carne y bone of my bone, hueso de mi hueso. Okay, and he didn't say that when he named the animals. Él no dijo eso cuando Dios creó los animales. So cuando nombró a los animales. Here, the The woman Aquí, is, li la mujer, is listening to somebody disrespect the Lord's word. Aquí está escuchando alguien que faltó el respeto a la palabra del Señor. Whether or not you believe it's a snake at this point or the fallen angel. Puedes creer que era una serpiente o o un ángel caído. Okay. It is the angel, but either or. Es, es, es lo que sea. Somebody is talking. Alguien está hablando. 
Somebody is disrespecting the word of God. Alguien está faltando el respeto a la palabra de Dios. When somebody is disrespecting the word of God, you either tell them to shut up or you leave the conversation. Cuando alguien está faltando la, la, de respeto a la palabra de Dios, tú les dices que se calle o que o se aleje la conversación. Look at verse 6 again. Mira el versículo 6 otra vez. When the woman saw the tree was good for Oscar, <laughs> that it had a pleasing appearance, and that the tree was desirable for making one wise, she took some of its fruit and ate. She also gave some to her husband who was with her, and he ate. Amen. Amen. So not... One person disrespects the, lo the word of God. Vemos aquí que una persona falta respeto a la palabra de Dios. Two people disrespect the word of God. Dos personas faltan respeto a la palabra de Dios. The family disrespects the word of God. La familia falta respeto a la palabra de Dios. And even though the second commandment is not written yet, e incluso que el segundo mandamiento no estaba escrito aún, When Adam bit the fruit, cuando Adam mordió el fruto, from the tree of knowledge, del libro de, de, del árbol del conocimiento, all knowledge of good and evil, meaning all the laws, went into Adam. Todo el conocimiento del bien y el mal, eso quiere decir todas las leyes entraron en Adam. And what is the second commandment? Y cuál es el segundo mandamiento? I'm going to put your sins on your kids. Voy a poner tus pecados en tus hijos. And did Jehovah put the sin of Adam on his children. Y Jehovah puso el pecado en sus hijos. Who were not even born yet. Que aún no nacían aún. Yes, he did because Cain killed Havel. Sí, Jehovah sí lo hizo porque vemos que Cain mató a Abel. Over jealousy. Por celos. Because uh, Havel's offering was accepted by Jehovah. Porque la ofrenda de de Havel de Abel fue aceptada por Jehovah. And Ca uh, Cain's was not. Cain's was not. Y la ofrenda de Cain no fue aceptada. But here, Hava is listening to the serpent. Aquí vemos que Hava está escuchando a la serpiente. And she disrespects the word of God. Y ella falta respeto a la palabra de Dios. The husband disrespects the word of God. El esposo falta respeto a la palabra de Dios. The family disrespects the word of God. La familia falta respeto a la palabra de Dios. But they still want to be blessed by Jehovah. Pero aún quieren ser bendecidos por Jehovah. Isn't this just like the world in the Christian messianic body today? No es esto, no se parece esto tanto al mundo y al cuerpo cristiano hoy en día. They they want to be blessed. Aquellos quieren ser, tener bendiciones. They'll sort of keep the Sabbath. Aquellos quienes uh, se hacen llamar que mantienen el Shabbat. But not the whole Sabbath. Pero no todo el Shabbat. They'll shave their beard or cut it back. Ellos se, se rasuran la barba o se cortan. Or they'll look at their phones during the Shabbat, looking at Facebook or whatever. O mirando sus teléfonos durante el Shabbat o mirando el Facebook. Doesn't God want our attention on his day? ¿Acaso Dios no quiere nuestra atención en su día? One day God says, for me. Dios dice que un día se le dedique a él. Okay. So here, the family of God. Aquí, the, la familia de Dios. Um, disrespected the word of God. Falta el respeto a la palabra de Dios. And it wasn't a hard law to follow. Y no era una, una, una regla, una ley... Muy dura de seguir. It's don't eat from that tree. Era simplemente que no comas de ese árbol. Okay. Uh, the question. Well, I'll explain that in a moment, Denise. Okay. Um, so the whole family of God toda just doesn't want to listen. Toda la familia no quiere escuchar. Are we not like that today? ¿Acaso no somos así hoy en día? But we'll pray for healings. Pero, uh, oramos por sanación. We'll pray for family members that are not saved. Oramos por miembros de familia que no, no son salvos. Okay. And we, but we totally disrespect the word of God. Pero totalmente faltamos el respeto a la palabra de Dios. Okay. Um, now the next part before we move on. La próxima parte antes de seguir a... Uh, con el estudio. Adam and Chava get kicked out of the garden, right? Adam and Chava, ellos fueron echados fuera del jardín. Now, weren't they living under grace? 
Ellos no estaba, estaban viviendo bajo la gracia. Moses wasn't born yet. Moses aún no nació. Abraham wasn't even born yet. Abraham aún no nació. So when somebody says we're living under grace, Cuando alguien dice vivimos bajo la gracia, I want you to bring them right back to this verse. Quiero que lo lleves directamente a este versículo. I want you to bring them back to Genesis chapter 3. Quiero que lo lleves a Génesis capítulo 3. Because people that say we're living under grace, Cuando la gente dice que viven bajo la gracia, Well, we got kicked out of the garden, didn't we? There was no holy days. No, no even circumc circumcision wasn't even given yet. So the flood had not happened. But yet God kicked his own son out of the garden. Pero aquí Dios, Él echó a su hijo fuera del jardín. All because he didn't keep kosher. Simplemente porque no, man, no se mantuvo kosher. Well, you're saying, it's a piece of fruit, it's... Pero tú dices, es, una, es, un, es un trozo de fruta. Kosher means what you can eat and what you can't eat. Kosher también quiere decir lo que puedes comer y lo que no puedes comer. In its most basic form. En su forma más básica. So because Adam and Chava didn't keep kosher, y porque Adam y Chava no pudieron mantenerse kosher, they ate from what they were not supposed to. Ellos comieron de donde no de, estaban supuestos a comer. God kicked them out of the garden. God, uh, Dios los echó fuera del jardín. Hi, let me try to answer Denise's question. Okay, let me just open it back up. Can you explain jealousy in Jehovah? as jealous versus jealousy of man. We are made in his image. Well, Jehovah calls himself jealous in in the book of Shemot, Exodus. Yes. Okay. Um, we're talking about jealousy. Estamos hablando acerca de celos. Okay. Denise is asking about the, uh, jealousy. Uh, Denise está preguntando acerca de los celos. Well, God calls himself jealous in Exodus. Dios se hace llamar a sí mismo un Dios celoso. So jealous is when you desire something. It's almost like coveting. Los celos es como cuando tú deseas algo. Es más como una codicia. Okay. God says, I'm jealous. My, na my name is jealous. Dios dice, mi nombre es celoso. So that's when you're, you're worshiping another God. Es cuando tú estás adorando a otro Dios. Like yourself. Como a ti mismo. Then God says, I don't like that. Y es ahí cuando Dios dice, a mí no me gusta eso. You should have no gods before my face. Y él dice, no tendrás otros dioses en frente de mi rostro. So jealousy is one of the most powerful uh, emotions. Los celos es una de, los, de las emociones más poderosas. See, when Adam and Chava listened to Satan, cuando Adam y Chava escucharon a Satanás, God became jealous. Dios se convirtió en un Dios celoso. What well, I'm not good enough? Él dijo, yo no soy lo, lo suficientemente bueno. You can't respect my rules. No respetas mis reglas. You want to listen to Satan? Go ahead, go be with Satan. Quieres tú escuchar a Satanás? Ve y ve con Satanás. So that's what jealousy is. Eso es los celos. It's when you choose something else over what is the truth. Cuando tú escoges algo más que no es la verdad. Now. Once again, let's look at verse 6. We're going to look at the second. We're going to read the whole verse, but we're going to look at the second sentence. Vamos a mirar el versículo 6, pero vamos a mirar la segunda parte de la oración. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it had a pleasing appearance, the tree was desirable for making one wise, she took some of its fruit and ate. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then, okay, so we're going to... Amen. So we're going to look at the second sentence. Vamos a mirar la, la otra la parte la otra uh, oración de esto. Because um, there's some people that don't know how to read their Bible. Porque algunas personas no saben cómo leer la Biblia. And I think it's very clear. Yo pienso que está muy claro. In the second sentence of verse 6. En la segunda parte del versículo 6. She also gave some to her husband who was with her. Que ella le también ella también le entregó a su esposo quien estaba con ella. So that meant Adam 
was right there. Eso quiere decir que Adam estaba ahí en ese en ese lugar. I don't know how that's difficult to understand. Yo no entiendo por qué es tan difícil de entender. Adam wasn't sleeping somewhere. Que Adam no estaba durmiendo en otro lado. He wasn't somewhere else in the garden. Que no estaba en otro lado, en algún lado del jardín. He wasn't over there playing with the monkeys. <laughs> él estaba él no estaba por ahí jugando con los monos. He wasn't talking to an alligator. No estaba no estaba hablando con un cocodrilo. Okay. He wasn't talking to one of the birds. No estaba hablando con ninguno de los de los pajaritos. It was very clearly he was with her. Está muy claramente que él estuvo ahí con ella. What do you think of that, Mr. Teal Shirt Guatemalan man? That, that volcano is, is that anywhere near your family? Some of the pictures are amazing. How long? How many? So it's 50 miles. Well, 50 miles is nothing with, um, especially like the one in Hawaii that's eating up the island. So, what do you think about this Adam being there with his wife? Was it was he there? Yeah, it says it. It says it. Is it is it clear? Are you reading the CJB or are you reading the Spanish? Okay. Does it say anything different in Spanish? Oh, and the one that I have says uh, he was there. Okay. Okay. Let me just bring it up on the screen in here. Let's do three verse six, and we'll bring it up in Spanish. Just you know, because I find sometimes when the Spanish Bible translations are, whoo, okay. not really good. Okay, let me just back it up. Oops. This is three. three verse. My I'm sticking here to the desk. Three verse six. Okay, let's uh, Reina Valera. Sixty. Y vio la mujer que el arbol era bueno para comer y que era agradable a los ojos y árbol con cad es it's more Italian para, para alcanzar la sabidura duria more Italian again y tom, tomo de su fruto y comió y dio también a su mari, marido el cual com, comió así como ella. It doesn't say it was with her? Well, that's terrible. And that's the Reina Valera. That's Reina Valera 60. Yeah. All right, well, the Spanish is way off. Okay. Um, okay, and her husband in the in the Hebrew was with her. Okay. Husband Isha. I mean Ish was with her. Okay. What was it? Let me just that's H three ninety eight? No. Three seventy six three seventy six? Yeah. Let's just double check the. What is this? Three seventy six. Sorry. Yeah, he's there with her. Where is it? Is that three seventy six? The 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 shot. Was the three seventy six? Okay, so the husband is with her. Uh, that'll be here. Im. 
conjunction to be equally with. Im. Mm hmm. I, I and mem hey. So with her, H5973. Okay? So it's very clear, in the, especially in the Hebrew, im, that he's with her. Yeah, in the NSAB in Spanish, it does say that he was there. So, so uh, definite, this is not on the PowerPoint, so don't be looking for it, guys. Um, I just had to answer that question because, you know, I try to answer in, in these Bible studies, mm -hmm. in these Bible studies, en estos estudios bíblicos, I try to answer every question that is given. Trato de responder la cualquier pregunta que se está haciendo. So, um, im, ayen, mem, and with a hey also, means with. Esta palabra im, que en, en el hebreo quiere decir con. Okay, beside, like as in beside her. Como que si está al lado de ella. So, it's, it's a conjunction, which means it's a joining word. Es una conjunción, es una palabra que está... Uh, um, una, una palabra conjugada. Okay, so it's very clear, especially in the Hebrew, that the English translation is in NASB. Una palabra que es unida. Mm -hmm. Okay, and in the CJB, it is correct. Y en la Biblia completa judía está correcta. So if somebody's teaching you that Adam was not with his wife. Si alguien está enseñando que Adam no estaba ahí con su esposa. Um, they're wrong and they should not be trying to teach the Word of God. Está equivocado y no debería tratar de seguir enseñando la Palabra de Dios. Okay. Um, so, back to six, the second sentence. Te regresa al versículo 6. She gave some to her husband who was with her and he ate. So, he's there listening to the conversation. Él está escuchando esa conversación. This makes, this is why Jehovah gets so angry. Es por eso que Jehovah, él se enoja tanto. Because Adam was supposed to be the covering for his family. Porque Adam debe ser eh, la cobertura para su familia. This is why man brings forth the word of God. Es por eso que el hombre tiene que traer la palabra de Dios. Because God gave the word to man. Porque Dios le dio la palabra al hombre. Now, Adam failed. Aquí vemos que Adam, él cayó. And that's why we're sitting here today studying the Word. Because Adam failed. Porque Adam, él falló. And then later on he has an opportunity to, for some redemption. Y más después, él tiene una oportunidad para una redención. But then he tries to hide his sin. Pero trata de ocultar su pecado. See, God says in Malachi 3, chapter Chapter 3, verse 7. Dios dice en Malaquías, capítulo 3, versículo 7. If you, re if you return to me, I will return to you. Si tú retornas hacia mí, yo, will re yo retornaría hacia ti. But Adam tried to hide his sin. Pero vemos aquí que Adam él trata de esconder su pecado. Let's see. It's now... David Dilemma, are you there, David Dilemma? Marty, you there? I'm here, Rob. Why? Well, so what do you think of Adam failing so bad? Did you did you know that he was there, right right there with 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 his wife? Well, it says here that he was there, but um, so that raised a question in my mind because now in 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 First Timothy it says that. The, the woman was uh, deceived. Uh, Adam was not deceived. So if he was there, so he was part of the the uh, of the the line. So well, the question would be: Did the devil deceive Adam, or it was her? Because if the devil went straight to her, if he was there listening. He didn't do nothing. So why is now, it says here in First Timothy, that she was the one who was deceived. 
So how do we, you know, you understand? I'm getting Mexican over here. <laughs> si, senor. Uh, I understand. Now the, the Martin is put, putting in First Timothy. Vemos que aquí Martín está él buscando la primera de, carta de Timoteo. Rav Shaul writes that Hava was deceived. El rabino Shaul está hablando, diciendo ahí que Hava, la mujer, fue engañada. And it is correct. Y está en lo correcto. Because who's having the conversation? Porque quién está teniendo esa conversación? Hasatán is speaking to Hava, not to Adam. Hasatán está hablando con Hava, no, to, no con Adán. It's, that's... Um, it's even that this is why it's so important. Es por eso que es muy importante. Because as a leader, if you do nothing while sin is happening, como un líder que no, say again, Robert. as a leader, is, if you do nothing while sin is happening to the sheep, como un líder, tú no, y si tú no haces nada uh, cuando el pecado está sucediendo, por, y si tú no haces nada por, por las ovejas, then you become an accomplice to the sin and you partake. Entonces tú tú te conviertes en parte de ese pecado. So Hava is deceived but Adam partakes in the sin after she eats. Vemos aquí que Hava está ella ella fue en en se seducida incitada a este pecado, pero él no no hace nada por esto. Understand this to Malton? Yeah. Yeah, so that's you know yeah, thank you. Yeah, what? Yeah, you don't sound convinced. No, yeah, because it, it makes sense though. Because if okay, let's say that he was there, he didn't do anything, so he became accomplice of of that uh, situation. So now, God, him being the head of the of the house, God, Elohim, asked him for account. You know. And he, Elohim asked him, "What what happened? Give me an explanation." So he he covered the sin. He started, you know, he blamed, you know, her. So we see that Adam didn't fulfill his role as as the as the head of the of the house. But now the question, I got another question, Rabbi. Go if ahead. God, if God made Adam and Eve perfect in the in the gun then. Because there was no sin, there was no sin uh, in the gun of them. Why God allowed Hasatan to, uh, how do you say it? Um, because they were a hundred percent spiritual, they could, they could, they could resist the presence of God. They, they you know, is spiritually talking, they were like a hundred percent spiritual. They they would they were able to hear him and talk to him and and you know so how that happened how did that you know how, I mean I don't understand I mean now we are flesh we got this body we got flesh we are corrupted but they were not corrupted they were they were not corrupt the question is how did something perfect become imperfect. La pregunta es cómo algo que era perfecto se convirtió en algo imperfecto. When you allow something to question your maker's word. Cuando permites que alguien cuestione la palabra de quien te creó. When the creation tells the potter what to do. Cuando la, la creación le dice al alfarero qué hacer. Our job is to listen to the word of God. Nuestro trabajo es escuchar la palabra de Dios. And to do what it says. Y hacer lo que dice. Once we allow somebody to question. The, Una vez que tú dejas que alguien cuestione. Question God's word. Que cuestione la palabra de Dios. Then there's your problem. Entonces ahí es el problema. Okay, so they, you know, they allowed Satan to say, You'll be like God. They should have just said, no, I'm happy the way I am, thanks. But then they should have went to God and said, listen, hey, uh, this guy's saying that we should go eat the fruit. 
Pero lo que él debería hacer es, y, o ellos deberían haber hecho, es ir donde Dios y decir, mira, este, esta persona me está diciendo que hagamos eso, lo que tú dijiste que no hagamos. Now, Adam had a soul. Ahora, Adán tenía una alma. As we all do. Como todos tenemos. Jehovah put the tree there. Jehovah puso ese árbol ahí. To see if we would be obedient to the word. Para ver si íbamos a ser obedientes a, la, a su palabra. He didn't tempt them. He said, don't do it. Él no les tentó. Él les dijo, no lo hagas. He wanted to see if they would be obedient. Él quería ver si iban a ser obedientes. And just like all humans were not. Así como todos los humanos no lo fueron. Okay, so God wants you to choose his word and be obedient to it. Entonces Dios quiere que tú escojas de su palabra y ser obediente a él. That's why God says I desire obedience over the sacrifice. Por eso que Dios dice yo deseo la obediencia sobre los sacrificios. I'd rather you not have to sacrifice to me. Yo prefiero que no, te, que no, me, no me des esos sacrificios a mí. You understand that we all have choices? Entiendes que todos tenemos elecciones que tomar. Amen. You know, it's, it's like being the head of a house. Es, es el, eh, eso es ser el jefe o la cabeza de un hogar. If you allow sin into your house, it will touch everybody. Si tú permites que el pecado entre en tu casa, va a topar a, cada, a todos. Okay, let's move on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Let's read verse 7. Um, Leamos el versículo 7. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together to make themselves loincloths. Amen? Okay. Now, what happens in verse 7 Lo que sucede en el versículo 7 is they lose their innocence. Ellos perdieron su inocencia. Shame enters the world. La vergüenza entró en el mundo. What do I mean by shame? ¿Qué quiero decir con esto de vergüenza? They were already living and they were naked and it was okay. Ellos ya estaban viviendo desnudos y estaba bien. But as soon as they bit the fruit, pero apenas ellos mordieron este fruto, they realized that they should not be naked. Ellos se dieron cuenta que no debían estar desnudos. Okay, so shame enters the world. Entonces vemos aquí que esta vergüenza entra en el mundo. And all knowledge. Y todo el conocimiento. Because, did you ever ask the question? ¿Alguna vez te has hecho esa pregunta? How did they know how to sew fig leaves? ¿Cómo ellos, cómo ellos sabían cómo coser hojas? How did they know how to make a loincloth? ¿Cómo ellos sabían cómo hacerse unos delantales, unas prendas de vestir? Okay, now, it, a loincloth Uh, estas prendas, estos delantales. Is H2290. Es la palabra H2290. Uh -huh. It is the Hebrew word, Hebrew root word, Hagor. Es la palabra hebrea Hagor. Or Hagora. O Hagora. Or Hagora. Sorry, it's a chet. O Hagora. Okay. It means number one, a girdle. Es, quiere decir la número uno, un Griddle. Hold on. Girdle. Yep. Give me one second. Girdle. Next one, Robbie. Okay, got it. Un, un taparrabo. Una faja. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A belt. Un cinturón. Number two, loin covering. La número dos, un, un delantal. Um, loin cloth. Una cubierta de, de lomo. Armor. Una armadura. Okay. Armor. Armor. Okay, una armadura. Okay. So, it is covering only their lower body. Está cubier, cubriendo solo la parte baja del cuerpo, un taparrabo, una armadura. So when the sin entered, it is covering the loins, meaning the lower half of the abdomen, cuando where the private el, parts are. Cuando el, el pecado, eh, cuando lo que quiere decir esto es que cuando el pecado entró estaba, when the sin 
entered, you said, when the sin when sin entered. Okay, cuando el pecado entró. They um, they just covered their private lower half. Simplemente cubrió las las partes privadas que estamos viendo aquí este taparrabo o armadura. See, a girdle covers your your buttocks and your that area. Yeah, este este taparrabo cubre tu tu what? Your, what? But, your, but, your buttocks in that area. Okay, cubre tu, tu trasero y, y el, esa área. So, she's not covering her breasts. Ella no está cubriéndose sus, sus pechos. Okay, so sus the loin is, íntimas. the okay. loin is just the lower part. Eh, los, este, este loin es la parte, la parte baja. Now, let's read verse 7 again. Leamos otra vez el versículo 7. Then the eyes of both of them were open, and they realized that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together to make themselves loin loincloths. Amen. So now their eyes are open to sin. Ahora vemos que sus ojos se abrieron hacia el pecado. Their eyes are open to truth. Oh, sus ojos abrieron a, a, para mirar, se abrieron a la verdad. Okay. Uh, Denise is saying girdle is F A H A. Faha. Yeah, I have all the definition here. Okay. So. Thank you. No faja. Yep. Okay. So once your eyes are open to truth. Una vez que tus ojos se abren a la verdad. Now what do you do with the truth? Ahora qué haces tú con esa verdad? Okay. So we're going to see what they. They, what did they do? Vamos a observar qué es lo que ellos hicieron. You know, five minutes ago before they ate the fruit, they sí. were naked. Cinco minutos atrás, antes de que coman ese fruto, ellos estaban desnudos. Now, oh, I got to cover up. Ahora ellos dicen, tengo que cubrirme. And, the, and it's so interesting in the world today. Es muy interesante en el mundo hoy en día. You know, people walk around with see-through clothing. La gente camina por las calles con vestimentas que son transparentes. Pornography is the biggest business on the planet. La pornografía es el negocio más amplio en el planeta. You know, when I was a kid, you know, they used to have the things to make, make sure that your bra didn't show. Cuando yo era pequeño, ellos decían cosas que se aseguren que su 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 brasier no se de, no se muestre, no se note. Now women just don't care if it's showing. Ahora las mujeres no les importa que se que se que asome su brasier. But here, the first people when they realized that they were naked. Pero aquí las primeras personas ellos, ellos se dieron cuenta que estaban desnudos. They wanted to cover it up. Ellos querían cubrirse. So now today, with people dressing the way that they do. Ahora hoy en día la gente uh, las personas que se visten como ellos quieren. What are they saying to God? ¿Qué le, ¿Qué le están diciendo a Dios? I don't care about your laws. No me, no, a mí no me importa tus leyes. Because all we got to do is these couple of laws anyway. Porque lo único que necesitas hacer son estas dos leyes. Okay, because that's what the Jerusalem Council said. Eso es lo que el Concilio de Jerusalén está diciendo. Oh, wait till you hear the rest of that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Going on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Verse 8, 9, 8, 8 through 10. Versículo 8 al 10. Any questions on that part so far? Algunas pre alguna pregunta hasta el momento? Okay, if you got a question, just put your hand up in Skype. Si tienes alguna pregunta, levanta tu Is mano. Is that a question? I thought you were pointing to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. No, Scripture doesn't tell how long it, like how long they were in the garden. That's very interesting. Okay. Uh, Oscar is saying that he has uh, Torah Emet. Um, and it gives a time frame for when these things happen. El hermano Oscar está diciendo que él tiene Torah Emet. Y que en esa Torah está escrito hay un tiempo donde cada... Uh, 
situación de esta ocurre? Well, that's very interesting. I don't ever think I've seen a time frame. Muy interesante. No creo que haya visto eso en la en la en la escritura. How did they arrive at like at two o'clock? They ate the fruit. At three yeah. thirty, they were sowed fig leaves. How did they arrive at that? ¿Cómo ellos llegaron a ese a esa conclusión? Because I don't know of any way, place in my Torah that says that. Yeah, porque no no veo yo no encuentro eso. I think it would be interesting to know. Yo pienso que sería muy interesante el conocer. You know, maybe they were there for a week. Maybe they were there for a week. Oh, dice, eh, está diciendo, dice ahí que solo eso sucedió en un día que sucedió todos estos acontecimientos. Well, that I agree with. En eso estoy de acuerdo. Because it's... Um, Six day created them and day is 24 hours. That is nowhere to be found. No se encuentra eso en Torah. Okay, uh, let's read verse 8 through 10. Leemos el versículo 8 al 10. They heard the voice of Jehovah Elohim walking in the garden. The time of the evening breathed, so the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Jehovah Elohim among the trees. In the garden, Jehovah Elohim called to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid myself. Okay, so in verse 8, in el versículo 8, uh, underlined the part, he, uh, heard the voice. Eh, subraya en tu Biblia en la parte donde dice escuché la voz walking in the garden caminando en el jardín hid themselves escondiéndose verse 9 versículo 9 where are you donde estás tú verse 10 versículo 10 I heard your voice escuché tu voz afraid temor I was You estu you est you estuve. I was uh, it should be also naked. Y también, también desnudo. And hid. The word hid. Y la palabra escondí. So let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Let's focus on verse 8. Enfoquémonos en el versículo 8. They heard the voice of Jehovah Elohim walking in the garden. At the time of the evening breeze. So the, man, uh, uh, so the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of Jehovah Elohim mm -hmm. among the trees in the garden. Amen? Amen? Okay. So he hears the footsteps of the man, of, of Jehovah. Él escucha las, las, los, los pasos de las pisadas de Jehovah. So he heard him as he was talking to somebody else. Él escuchó mientras él estuvo hablando con alguien más. Okay. See, we wrote, we read it. The, they heard the voice of Jehovah Elohim walking in the garden. Okay, Jehovah okay. was walking in the garden. He was talking. Jehovah estaba caminando en el jardín y él, él estaba hablando. Okay, and that you find in the Hebrew. Eso es lo que encuentras en el Hebreo. Okay, um, and then he's in the garden with them. Él está en el jardín con ellos. Okay, uh, the. The, the other reference of, of the, the Lord, you hear him walking. La otra referencia donde dice me escuchar o eh, escuchar caminando. In the same phrase um, is Second Samuel 5. De la misma frase, el ojín caminando es en la segunda, en el segundo libro de Samuel. Chapter 5. Capítulo 5. Verse 24. Versículo 24. And 1 Kings 14, verse 6. El primer libro de Reyes, capítulo 14, versículo 6. So now, Adam, who had this great relationship with Jehovah. Vemos aquí ahora que Adam, que él tenía una buena relación con Jehovah. Uh, is now trying to hide himself from the presence of Jehovah. Ahora él está intentando esconderse de la presencia de Jehovah. Okay. So anytime you're trying to hide from Jehovah, God can find you. Cada vez que tú quieres esconderte de, de la presencia de Jehovah, eh, Dios te va a encontrar. So now God, not that God didn't know, but now God knows something is wrong. 
Ahora, no, que, no, no con esto queremos decir que Dios no sabe, sino que Él sabe que está algo mal. Look at verse 9. Mira el versículo 9. Jehovah Elohim called to the man, Where are you? Okay, so now he's looking for his son. Cuando está diciendo, ¿dónde estás? Ahora le está buscando por su hijo. Looking, you know, he's saying, you know, where are you? Le está diciendo, ¿dónde estás? And when people are sinning, y cuando las personas están pecando, they try to hide the sin from God. Ellos tratan de esconder el pecado de Dios. Let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Let's read 8 through 10 again. Leamos otra vez del versículo 8 al 10. They heard the voice of Jehovah Elohim walking in the garden at the time of the evening. So the man and his wife hid themselves in the presence of Jehovah Elohim among the trees in the garden. Jehovah Elohim called to the man, where are you? He answered, I heard your voice in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked so I hid myself. Go back to verse 8. Regresemos al versículo 8. They heard the voice. Ellos escucharon la voz. Then both of them hide themselves. Después los dos se escondieron. So now they both know that they've done something wrong. Ahora vemos que los dos se dieron cuenta que hicieron algo malo. They're aware that they've sinned against the Lord. Ellos se dieron cuenta que ellos pecaron en contra del Señor. Why are they aware? Porque ellos eh, se dieron cuenta. Because they didn't bite from the tree of life. Porque ellos no comieron del árbol de la, de la vida. They ate from the tree of knowledge. Ellos comieron del árbol de la sabiduría. So all knowledge. Entonces todo el conocimiento. Is in them. Está ahora en ellos. And we are their children. Y nosotros somos sus hijos. So you, when people say, you know, you know that you're doing, you know that when you're doing something wrong. Cuando la gente te dice, tú algo, tú, tú sabes cuando, cuando estás haciendo algo mal. This is vitally important. Esto es de vital importancia. See, when you tell people that you got to follow the law. Cuando le dices a las personas que deben seguir la, uh, la ley. You don't tell them that you got to only follow parts. Tú no les dices que siempre, que tienen que seguir solo a algunas partes. Because then you're going to be found to be a hypocrite. Entonces tú vas a ser encontrado como un hipócrita. How did Adam and Chava know that they were wrong? ¿Cómo Adam y Java uh, se dieron cuenta que ellos estaban equivocados? Did, the, did Satan go, ha ha ha? Ha ha Look, now, now you're naked. Entonces dijeron, ahora estás desnudo. How did they know? ¿Cómo ellos se dieron cuenta? Because the knowledge came into them. Porque el conocimiento entró en ellos. So they heard the voice. Entonces ellos escucharon la voz. Now let's, let's go try to hide behind a tree. Ahora tratemos de escondernos detrás de un árbol. And see if God can find us. A ver si Dios nos puede encontrar. I mean, they, they had all knowledge of everything, but they were pretty dumb. Ellos tenían el conocimiento de todo, pero eran muy tontos. But are we any smarter today? ¿Acaso, pero acaso nosotros somos algo más inteligentes hoy en día? Okay, now, now let's read verse 9 and 10. Le leamos otra vez el versículo 9 y 10. Jehovah Elohim called to the man, where are you? He answered, I heard your voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. Amen. Now here we see for the law, uh, law of first reference Aquí vemos de la ley de la primera referencia. is the word afraid. Es la palabra temor, okay. con, con miedo. In Hebrew it's H3372. En el hebreo es la palabra 3372. It is the Hebrew root, root word yare. Es la palabra hebrea raíz yare. It means to fear. Que quiere decir con miedo. Revere. Re reverenciar. Be afraid. Tener miedo. I think all these words were fitting both Adam and Chava. Yo creo que todas estas palabras encajan en Adam y Chava. Because now something's going to happen because they ate from the tree. Porque algo va, ahora algo va a suceder porque ellos comieron del, del árbol. They knew it was going to happen. Ellos sabían que eso iba a suceder. Because now all knowledge is in them. Porque ahora todo el conocimiento está en ellos. Okay. They're revering the Lord because now they're trying to hide their sin. Ellos están um, 
revering to the Lord. Reverence. Oh, ellos están haciendo reverencia al Señor porque ellos están tratando de esconder su pecado. And now they're afraid of what he's going to do. Ahora ellos están con temor de lo que ellos de lo que ellos uh, hicieron. Oh no, he's going to kill me now. Ellos están diciendo ahora no, ahora me va a matar. Okay. Well, you should have thought about that when you were listening to the devil. Deberías tú uh, preocuparte de eso cuando estabas escuchándole al maligno a Satanás. And, and Hava is talking to the Satan. Y porque Hava estaba hablando con Satan. But Adam is there listening to the conversation. Pero Adán estaba ahí escuchando esa conversación. As soon as she reached out to grab the the fruit, apenas ella uh, fue alcanzó el fruto. There should have been the first domestic violence. Debería haber sido la primera violencia doméstica. He should have just smacked her behind and said, "Stop that!" Debería haberle dado una una nalgada y decirle, "Detente." Or grabbed her hand and really hard and twisted behind her back. O agárrale la mano y tuércele para su espalda. Okay, because by them doing this. ¿Por qué? Porque al hacer esto. And Adam not being the leader in his home. Y Adam no siendo el líder de su casa. The whole home got destroyed. Toda su casa fu fue destruida. So when we allow sin into our home, porque cuando permit permitimos el pecado dentro de nuestras casas, it'll the sin eventually is going to win over anything. El pecado eventualmente va a ganar por sobre todo. Because the darkness is going to overcome the light. Porque la la oscuridad va a sobrepasar la luz. Because we desire easiness. Porque deseamos todo lo fácil, la facilidad. We're lazy. Somos oh, perezosos. God's work, God following God's word is hard. God's following God's word is hard. Seguir la palabra de Dios es duro. And we always want what we can't have. Y siempre queremos lo que nosotros podemos tener. Come on, be honest. Sean honestos. And I'm sure you guys have, over the years, uh, yo sé que por todos estos años, you wanted some regular bacon. Ustedes querían un, un tocino regular. You, you know, the Chinese, you pass by the Chinese food restaurant, you can smell the pork fried rice. Cuando pasas por el restaurante chino, tú, huh? tú hueles el yon chong fried rice. Oh, that too. <laughs> The streams, the ceviche. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. We always want what we can't have. Siempre queremos lo que no podemos tener. But we don't realize that that stuff is bad for us. Pero no nos damos cuenta que todo eso es malo para nosotros. But the Maker, God, our Creator, does. Pero nuestro creador, a él sí le importa. So here, Adam and Chava are like, oh, hide. <laughs> Aquí vemos que Adam y Chava ellos dicen, oh, look, I'm hiding. Mira, me estoy escondiendo. God can't see me now. <laughs> Ahora Dios no me puede ver. You think, you, you know, think about this first. They're going to hide behind a tree. Ponte a pensar en un, por un momento que ellos se fueron a esconder detrás de un árbol. Well, look at verse, look at verse number eight. Mira el versículo ocho. They heard the voice of Jehovah Elohim walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. So the man and his wife hid themselves from from the presence of Jehovah Elohim among the trees in the garden. Are you, yeah, so let's go hide behind a tree. Vamos a esconder. Nos dice aquí que se escondieron entre los árboles del jardín. What are we playing hide, hide and go seek? You know, a little kids game. Estaban acaso jugando a las escondidas, un juego de niños. <laughs> See, when you're afraid, cuando tú tienes temor, you don't think things all the way through. Cuando tienes miedo, no piensas las cosas directamente. I forgot. Brittany, help me with this. Is it, what's that? Where the the the, car, the cartoon says, Master. I don't think we thought this plan out so much. <laughs> Brittany, are you awake? <laughs> Have you fallen asleep? Rabbi. Yes. What what video is it from? Meet the Robinsons. Oh, Meet the Robinson. Like Adam didn't think this plan all the way through. And then él no se no pudo todo sobrepasar todo esto. 
And then meet the Robinson, the funny little children's video. They don't yeah. think the plan all the way through. Y este, y este, este video muy, muy uh, gracioso de Meet the Robins. Es, ellos no pudieron a pasar todo esto. Now why do I talk about that? ¿Por qué hablo de esto? Because most of us don't think about eternity. Porque la, muchos de nosotros no pensamos eh, en la eternidad. We don't think about that courtroom that we're going to stand in. No pensamos en esa sala de, de, de corte donde vamos a estar. And that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Y sabemos que Dios es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. And he established the court y and the judges back in the Old Testament. Y él establece esa corte y los jueces en el Antiguo Testamento. So Adam didn't think this plan through. Entonces vemos que Adán, él no pensó en este plan. Any, o, todo o, any other fruit tree he could have eaten from. Oh, de cualquier otro árbol que, de, que de otro fruto podía comer. Even the tree of life. Incluso del árbol de la vida. But, no, he didn't. No, pero él no lo hizo. From downstairs. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, he hid himself. Él se escondió. That's H2244. Es la palabra H2244. That is the Hebrew root word chaba. Es la palabra hebrea chaba. That's interesting. Kavad is very close. Yeah. Um, number one means to withdraw. Número uno quiere decir para retirarse. Hide. Para ocultarse. Number two, to hide oneself. Número dos, para ocultarse uno mismo. Number three, to be forced into hiding. Número tres, para ser forzado a, a un escondite. So they were forced into Chaba. En este, ellos fueron forzados a Java because their sin was going to be revealed. Porque el pecado iba a ser revelado. Okay. So this is what many people try to do. Esto es lo que muchas personas tratan de hacer. Men who are committing adultery try to go hide their sin. Los hombres que están tratando, uh, están cometiendo adulterio, el pecado, están, están tratando de ocultar su pecado. People that are doing drugs try to hide their sin. La gente que está utilizando drogas están tratando de ocultar su pecado. But we've been doing this since the time of the beginning. Pero estamos haciendo esto desde el tiempo del principio. Let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Okay, uh, verse 11 through 13. Verso 11 al 13. Now this is section number four, so if you're taking notes, it's the section number four. I forgot to tell you the other one was section number three. La es la sección número tres. Uh, the, section three was verse three through ten. La sección número tres es del versículo... Was eight through ten. Versículo ocho al once. Now we're on the section four. Ahora estamos en la sección cuatro. And this is verse 11 through 13. Y este es del versículo once al trece. Now, this part is called Terms for Peace, Legal Discovery from the Judge. This is Terms for Peace. Estos son términos de paz. <laughs> legal Discovery from the Judge. Uh, un, un descubrimiento legal de, de juez. This ties together with last, last Shabbat's lesson. Estos, esto se junta con la lección de Shabbat uh, pasado. The, 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 the lawyer for the other side gets to do discovery. El abogado de, del, del otro lado él tiene que hacer ese descubrimiento. So here the judge is going to be discovering something. Aquí vemos que este juez va a estar haciendo un descubrimiento. So 11 through uh, 13. Del 11 al 13. He said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree from which I ordered you not to eat? The man replied, the woman you gave me to, to be with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree and I ate. Yo Elohim said to the woman, what is this you have done? The woman answered, oh, the serpent tricked me into I ate. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Let's focus on verse 11. Enfoquémonos en el versículo 11. He said, to, he said, who told you that you were naked? Le have dijo, you eaten from the tree from which I ordered you not to eat? Okay. So now, this is legal discovery. Esto es un descubrimiento legal. The Lord is asking a question. 
eh, eh, Dios está haciendo preguntas. Before God goes to war with somebody, antes que Dios se vaya a se se vaya a una guerra con alguien, he has to have terms for peace. Él debe ofrecer términos de paz. Right, terms for peace. Términos de paz. So the Lord is saying, uh, Have you eaten from the tree I told you not to do? El Señor le está diciendo, ¿has comido del árbol que te dije que no comas? Because he goes, uh, who told you you were naked? Y le dice, ¿quién te dijo que estabas desnudo? Because remember, when God made him naked, when he, when he birthed Adam, right? Recuerda que Dios los puso desnudos cuando Él creó a Adán. When he, when he created Adam. Cuando le creó a Adán. You know, he didn't know anything bad about being naked. Él no sabía nada de... De, de que él estaba desnudo. So now in verse 11 it's legal discovery. Ahora en el versículo 11 es un descubrimiento legal. Look at verse 11. Mira el versículo 11. Who he said who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree from which I ordered you not to eat? Amen. Amen. Now what's so important about that? ¿Qué es lo importante de todo esto? Because Satan didn't say that Adam was naked. Porque Satanás no dijo que él estaba desnudo. So the first Jehovah says, who told you? Lo primero, Jehovah dice, ¿Quién te dijo? Then he says, have you eaten from the tree I told you not to eat? Y le dice, ¿Has comido del árbol que te dije que no comas? But he says, ordered you not to eat. Pero dice que te ordené que no comas. Let's see what the word ordered is. Miremos cuál es el significado de orde, ordenado. H6680, the, the root word is sava. It means to command. De la, la palabra 6, H6680, la palabra es Saba, la primera definición es a uh, mandar, ordenar. Charge. A da, para dar cargo. Give orders. Dar órdenes. Lay charge, like to direct, like a military officer. Poner a cargo como en, en un, hablando en el ejército, poner a alguien a cargo de algo. So, here in verse 11, Aquí en el versículo 11, Jehovah said, this is my mitzvot, this is my command. Jehovah está diciendo, este es mi, mi, mi orden, mi, lo que te estoy ordenando. And you openly disobeyed my command. Y tú abiertamente desobedeciste mi, mi mandamiento. So when you openly disobey the command, cuando tú desobedeces un mandato uh, abiertamente, then you're going to be dead to God. Entonces tú vas a estar muerto para Dios. Now why is this lesson very important? Ahora, ¿por qué esta lección es muy importante? Because a couple of thousand years later, porque un par uh, dos mil años atrás, Yeshua the Messiah is born. Yeshua el Mesías nació. He grows up into being a man. Él nació para ser un hombre. And then he has his last Pesach meal with his Talmudin, right? Y él tuvo la última cena con, con sus Talmudin, la última, celebrando la última Pascua. And he says, what at the end of it? Y qué es lo que dice al final? At the end of that Passover meal. Al final de, de, la, de la última cena de la Pascua. Do the Passover in remembrance of me. Que celebres la Pascua en memoria mía. But you can't do the Passover Pero no puedes celebrar la Pascua unless you're circumcised. A no ser que estés circuncidado. Que no, a no ser que estés circuncidado. So Yeshua says, do the Pesach. Yeshua dice que hagas, celebres la Pascua. This is his commandment. Esa es su ordenanza. He is part of Elohim. That just died real quick. It's <laughs> Rosh Hashanah. Uno momento, por favor. Did you put him? Yeah. You bet. You might have the. ready okay so here when you break the word of God cuando, cuando tú, uh, quebrantas la palabra de Dios, God kicks you out of his house Dios te echa fuera de su casa. now is, 
The Lord's timing is, is amazing. El, el, el timing. Timing. El, el tiempo del Señor es muy asombroso. Because we took last week off. Porque nosotros uh, nos tomamos la, la semana pasada libre. For the Bible study. Para el estudio bíblico. And then the Lord gave us a great lesson on Shabbat, right? Y el Señor nos entregó una lección muy, muy hermosa, muy grande en Shabbat. About the courtroom. Acerca de, de la sala de corte. And now everybody's going to have to be in the court. Ahora todos van a tener que estar presentes en esa corte. And during the lesson we talked about Acts 15. Y durante esa lección hablamos de Hechos 15. And, you know, in Acts 15, en Hechos 15, we have a very terrible account of what happens. Tenemos una, una, un relato muy terrible que sucedió. That Yaakov, who's not a, a disciple, un acontecimiento muy terrible que pasó, que ya, Yaakov, uh, mi, que él no es un discípulo, uh, misguides the council. Que él está guiando mal a ese, a ese uh, council. Él está, uh, que está guiando mal a ese concilio. Into just telling the Gentiles that you only got to do these couple of things and you'll learn the rest. Al decir, al decir, al decir él que solo deben hacer estas cuatro cosas y no deben hacer el resto. So first of all, you're listening to Yeshua's brother who wasn't following Yeshua until after the resurrection. Primeramente, tú estás escuchando al hermano de Yeshua quien no quien no seguía a Yeshua sino hasta después que Yeshua murió. And they write the Gentiles this letter. Y él escribe esta carta a los gentiles. Is Adam a, a Jew or a Gentile? Adam es judío o gentil? He's, he's a Gentile. Es un gentil. Because God had not made the covenant with the Hebrew people yet. Porque Dios aún no había uh, establecido el pacto con la gente hebrea. Why? Why was Adam hiding? ¿Por qué Adam se estaba escondiendo? Because he broke the commandment. Porque quebrantó un mandato. Now the judge is doing legal discovery. Ahora el juez está haciendo un descubrimiento legal. And Jehovah says in verse 11, y Jehovah dice en el versículo 11, I ordered you to do something. Yo te ordené que hagas algo. You broke my order. Tú quebrantaste mi orden. Now I'm kicking you out of my house. Ahora te echo fuera de mi casa. So Yeshua, gave, Yeshua our Messiah gives us an order. Yeshua el Mesías nos está entregando una orden. You must eat Pesach que tú debes comer la, el Pesach. Pesach la means you meet eating the animal. El Pesach, la Pascua, significa que tú debes comer la carne de, del animal. In remembrance of Yeshua. En, en recordatorio de Yeshua. That's a direct order. Esa es una orden directa. But you cannot eat the Pesach. Pero tú no puedes comer de la Pascua. Unless you're circumcised. A no ser que tú seas circuncidado. And that's Exodus, Shemot, chapter 12, verse 44 and 45. Yes, es Exodus, capítulo 12, versículo 24 al 25. 44 al 25. 45. And if you, if you don't follow God, Exodus 12, verse 44 45. Versículo 44 al 45. Ahí se dice. When Adam broke the Sava of Jehovah, cuando Adam el quebrantó el Sava de Jehovah, is going to get kicked out of the house. Él va a ser echado fuera de la casa. So now take that to the book of Acts. Ahora tomemos esto. Chapter 15. Hechos, capítulo 15. When they say you, you only have to do these things. Cuando él dice que solo debes hacer estas cosas. No, you need to be circumcised. No, tú necesitas ser circuncidado. If you don't want to be circumcised, that's cool. Si no quieres ser circuncidado, está bien. You're listening to the devil. Estás escuchando al enemigo, a Satanás. But I'm not going to force you because I don't really care about your penis. Pero no te voy a, 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 a juzgar porque, a, porque a mí no me importa acerca de, de, tu, de tus penes, de tu pene. God cares about your penis. A Dios le importa tu pene. If you're a man. Si eres un hombre. And maybe your wife cares about your penis if you're married. Quizás tu esposa se preocupe de eso porque tú eres casado. But what we need to look at Pero lo que necesitamos mirar aquí in this study en este estudio is God ordered Adam not to eat from that tree. Es que Dios le ordenó a Adán que no coma de ese árbol. Once God says something una vez que Dios dice algo you are responsible For following it. Tú eres responsable por seguir 
And we are all children of Adam and Chava. Y todos somos hijos de Adam y Chava. So here, look at verse 11 again. Mira el versículo 11 otra vez. He said, who told you you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree which I ordered you not to eat? So now he's got discovery. Ahora he hecho este descubrimiento. Now, in Revelation 20, verse 12, yeah, 20, versículo 12, all the dead are going to be judged on the books. Todos los muertos van a ser juzgados por medio de los libros. Pretty interesting, don't you think? Muy interesante, ¿no piensas? So, was the letter that was written from the Jerusalem Council right or wrong? Entonces, esa carta que fue, es, eh, eh, fue escrita en el Concilio de Jerusalén, ¿es One, esa, ¿está correcto hundred, o incorrecto? 100% wrong. 100% está equivocado. Because when God says something, he means it. Porque cuando Dios dice algo, Él, él, él lo... Él lo dice, claro. Let's go now to verse 12. Next slide. Vamos al versículo 12. The man replied, the woman you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit of the tree and I ate. Amen. So now, everybody wants to blame everybody else. Ahora, todos quieren culpar a todos. Instead of taking the responsibility on. En vez de ser, tomar responsabilidad de eso. It's not my responsibility. No es mi responsabilidad. This shows disrespect of God's word. Esto muestra una falta de respeto a la palabra de Dios. So now the, the, the legal discovery is happening here. Ahora este, este descubrimiento legal está, está ocurriendo aquí. You're now telling the judge what happened. Tú no le estás diciendo al juez lo que está sucediendo. And the judge is going to know that you're responsible. Y el juez sabe que tú, que tú eres responsable. Okay. Um, now... What happened in verse 12? Ahora, ¿qué sucede en el versículo Let's 12? read verse 12 again. Leamos el versículo 12. The man replied, the woman you gave to be with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree and I ate. Amen? Amen. What is he doing then? ¿Qué es lo que está haciendo? He's putting Hava over Jehovah. Él está colocando a Hava sobre Jehovah. He's allowing his wife to supersede The word of God. Ella está permitiendo que su que su esposa sobre sobrepase la palabra de Dios. Sounds like some people that left the congregation a couple of months ago. Suena como algunas personas que dejaron la congregación un par de meses atrás. Amazing. Muy asombroso. Adam gives more authority to his wife. Adam le dio más autoridad a su esposa. Okay, so she's pretty ugly. Okay, ella es muy fea. She's pretty. Ella es hermosa. She's the prettiest woman on the planet. Ella es la mujer más hermosa del planeta. And she's the ugliest woman on the planet. Y también es la mujer más fea del planeta. So that means she's pretty ugly. Eso quiere decir que ella era muy fea. But here in ver verse 12, underline the whole verse. El versículo 12 sobresalta el todo el versículo. You're allowing this woman to supersede. The man is allowing this woman to supersede what his father told him. El hombre está permitiendo que la mujer sobrepase lo que el, el padre lo que el padre de, uh, decretó. What great disrespect. Qué falta de respeto tan grande. Uh, God didn't even speak to Hava. Dios ni no habló con Hava. Adam was the one who gave the word to his wife. Adam fue quien le, le, le dio la palabra and, a su esposa. And now he's blaming his wife. Y ahora está culpando a su esposa. Let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Let's look at verse 13. Miremos el versículo 13. Then we'll take a, a question. We'll, we'll see if anybody's got any questions on this. Yehovah Elohim said to the woman, What is this you have done? The woman answered the serpent. The woman answered, The serpent tricked me, so I ate. Amen. Amen. So now she's blaming somebody else. Ahora está culpando a alguien más. She allowed Satan Ella permitió que Satanás to supersede her husband que so, que sobrepasa su esposo who said this was the word from God. Diciendo que esta es la palabra de Dios. Okay, now she's in the CJB it says tricked. Aquí vemos que en la, en la Biblia completa judía dice engañar. In some other translation, it is the word deceived. En otras traducciones son la palabra engañar. It is H5377. The root word is nasha. Es la palabra 
H5377, la palabra raíz es nasha. It means to beguile, like trick, you know. Quiere decir como engañarlo. Deceive. Engañarlo. Satan didn't trick her. So Satanás no, no, le, no, le, no le engañó. So now we have the second lie. Ahora tenemos la segunda mentira. He said, you're not going to die, but now he's not tricking you. Él le dijo, tú no vas a morir. Él no la está engañando. You're believing him. Tú estás creyendo en él. You want to believe him. Tú quieres creer en él. Instead of believing God. En, en vez de creerle a Dios. You want to believe the enemy. Tú, eh, tú quieres creerle al enemigo. Okay, and then she says she ate from the tree. Y después dice que ella comió del árbol. She didn't just eat from this tree. Ella no simplemente comió del árbol. The word ate is H398. La palabra para, para comer es H398. It is the Hebrew root word achal. Es la palabra hebrea achal. It means to eat. Quiere decir para comer. Devour. Devorar. Burn up. Quemar. Feed. Alimentar. So she didn't just eat from this Ella, piece of fruit. Simplemente, no, 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 sol, no simplemente comió de esta fruta. She devoured it. Ella estaba devorando. She didn't just take a little bite. Ella no tomó un simple mordisco. Whatever the fruit was, she went, ah. Cualquier fruta que haya sido, ella fue exagerado a comer, a devorarla. She was burning with desire for that piece of fruit. Ella estaba quemándose con ese de, por ese deseo con, con deseo de comerse esa fruta. And now they want to blame everybody else. Y ahora quieren culpar a, a, a todos. So a she's más. desiring. Entonces ella está deseando. He's not following. Él no, es, no le está siguiendo. He's blaming her. Él está uh, culpándole a ella. She's blaming the, the serpent. Ella está culpando a la, a la serpiente. And nobody's trusting in Jehovah. Y nadie está confiando en la palabra, en this, Jehovah. This is why I say trust in the commandments of the Lord. Because when other people are having famine, God blesses his servants. Let's go on to the next slide. Let's read section number five. But I want to finish this. So let me just see how many slides I have left. And slide. Yeah. Okay. S slide fifty-one. We're, we might. We might go. Yeah, we're going to go another fifteen minutes. Página fifty-one. Yeah. Página cincuenta y uno. Okay. This is section number five. Esta es la sección número cinco. When you sin, there is ramifications for your sin. Cuando tú pecas, hay ramificaciones por tus pecados, por tus acciones. It's going to be verse 14 through 19. Va a ser del capítulo 14 al 19. Yahweh Elohim said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all livestock and wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and eat dust as long as you live. I will put animosity between you and the woman. And between your descendants and her descendants, he will bruise your head and you will bruise his heel. To the woman, he said, I will greatly increase your pain in childbirth. You will bring forth children in pain. Your desire will be toward your husband and he will rule over you. To Adam, he said, because you listened to what your wife said and ate from the tree about which I gave you the order, you're not to eat from it. The ground cursed on your account. You work hard to eat from it as long as you live. It will produce thorns and thistles for you. You will eat field plants. You will eat bread by the sweat of your forehead till you return to the ground. For you were taken out of it. You are dust. You are rubbish. You will return to rubbish. Amen. Go on to the next slide. Let's focus on verse 14 and 15. Enfoquémonos en el versículo 14 y 15. Yehovah Elohim said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all livestock and wild animals, 
You will crawl on your belly and eat dust as long as you live. I will put animosity between you and the woman. Between your descendants and her descendants, he will bruise your head. And he will uh, bruise his heel. Amen? Amen. Okay, this is the first time we see a curse. Aquí esta es la primera vez que estamos mirando esta una maldición. Okay, in verse 14, that's the law of first reference. Es, es el versículo 14, la ley de la primera referencia. So this means that Satan was not crawling on his belly beforehand. Estamos viendo que, que, que está diciendo que Satan. Satan was not a snake then. He was just referred to as a snake. Que aquí Satanás no, no es una serpiente. Se está refiriendo como una serpiente. Because we now see for the first time the word cursed. Porque ahora estamos viendo por primera vez la palabra maldición o maldita. Now this is going to occur. Ahora esto va a suceder. Before that it was not occurring. Now it is. Ahora, antes no estaba ocurriendo. Ahora sí va a ocurrir esto. And then he says in verse 14 again. Y de ahí dice en el versículo 14 otra vez. Job Elohim said to the serpent, because you have done this, you are cursed more than all livestock and wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and eat dust as long as you live. Amen? Amen. Okay, now he makes him lower than any other animal. Ahora él, él, él hace, de, de, hace el, 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 el animal más bajo de todos los animales. Okay, so now... Um, now he's he's going to make this the, the, the angel now a snake. Ahora va a ser de, de este ángel una serpiente. Because he says to the adversary, now you're growing to crawl. Porque le está diciendo al adversario, ahora tú vas a arrastrarte. It's very important to understand that. Es muy importante entender esto. Because this is why we study the word and the Hebrew understanding. Porque es por esto que estudiamos la palabra en el entendimiento hebreo. And when you don't come at it from, when you don't read the Bible from a Hebrew perspective. Y cuando no lees la Biblia de una perspectiva uh, hebrea. You don't understand what you're reading most of the time. Tú no entiendes lo que estás leyendo la mayoría, la, la mayoría del tiempo. Because the key word here for the whole chapter about Satan porque la palabra clave aquí de todo el capítulo Satanás is that verse 14 is your key verse and the key word is curse. Es la palabra es el versículo clave es el 14 y la palabra clave es maldición. Now this is going to happen. Ahora esto va a suceder. He said now you're going to eat dirt. Ahora dice tú tú vas a, a comer polvo. And now your wings are clipped because remember he was a seraphim. Ahora tus alas van a ser... No, carabin. Tus alas van a ser cortadas porque recuerda que él era un querubín. And we know that from Ezekiel. Conocemos por, por Ezequiel. Next slide. Próxima página. Verse 15. Versículo 15. Is, I will put animosity between you and the woman and between your descendants and her descendants. He will bruise your head and he will bruise his heel. This is the messianic prophecy. Esta es la, la profecía mesiánica. About the virgin birth acerca de la, del nacimiento virginal. Now he's calling both parts of the anatomy seed. Está, está citando las dos partes de la enemistad. Because he's going to put animosity between you and the woman. Porque él va a poner esta enemistad entre tú y la mujer. Between your seed and her seed. Entre tú y semilla y tú se, y, y la semilla de ella. So right there in verse 15 and we're not going to go heavily into it. Y aquí en el versículo 15 no nos vamos a profundizar mucho en este. Is the messianic prophecy of the virgin birth. Es la, la profecía mesiánica del nacimiento virginal. God knew right there in the garden that Messiah Yeshua would be coming. Dios ya sabía ahí en el jardín del, del Edén que Yeshua el Mesías iba a venir. That the Messiah would have to be conceived in a different way. Que el Mesías debía ser concebido en una manera diferente. Let's go to the verse 16 now. Vamos al versículo 16. To the woman he said, I will greatly increase your pain. In childbirth you will bring forth children in pain. Your desire will be toward your husband. And he will rule over you. Ah. Okay. Um, 
He will rule. <laughs> he will. He will rule. Just to, make sure. Just to make sure. Just to make sure all the ladies are. <laughs> but to remember, much is given, much is required. Que recuerda, mientras más más se te se te entrega, más se se requiere de ti que hagas. Okay. Now verse 16. Versículo 16. The woman who had broken the the divine commandment. La mujer que había quebrantado el, el mandamiento divino. For the sake of her earthly enjoyment. Por su por su uh, placer terrenal. Is now going to give birth to children in pain. Ahora va a dar a luz a sus hijos con dolores. Okay, in verse 16 it said pain. En el versículo 16 dice dolor. It is H6089. Es la palabra H6089. It is the root word etseb. Es la palabra hebrea etseb. 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 I inside a uh, bet. Okay, means pain. Que quiere decir dolor. Sorrow. Quiere decir uh, daño. Hardship. Trabajo duro. So before it, if now, if the Lord is saying now you're going to give birth in pain, beforehand it was not going to be painful. Ahora es lo que dice el Señor. Antes no tenía, uh, no iba a tener dolor, pero ahora sí vas a tener dolor. Because He's saying now. Porque dice ahora. I'm going to greatly increase your pain. So maybe it might have been a little bit of pain. Porque dice que voy a incrementar el dolor. Quizás hubiese sido un poquito menos el dolor. Now let's read verse 16 again. Leamos otra vez el versículo 16. The woman, he said, I will greatly increase your pain in childbirth. You will bring forth children in pain. Your desire will be towards your husband, and he will rule over you. Amen? Amen. Okay. Now, now this is an interesting w word, desire. Esta es una palabra muy interesante. Dese deseo. Okay. It is H8669. Es la palabra h 8 it is uh, teshuka. Es la palabra teshuka. It means desire. Que quiere decir deseo. Longing. Que quiere decir uh, deseo. Craving. Ansia. So the woman is supposed to crave the man. La mujer debe, tiene, uh, está supuesto a tener ansia o deseo del hombre. The woman is supposed to desire the man. La mujer tiene, tiene, está supuesta a desear al hombre. Like craving a good slice of white garlic pie. Como tener uh, ganas de un, una pizza blanca con ajo fresco. <laughs> okay. This is what the Lord is saying, that the woman is supposed to desire to be with her husband. Esto es lo que el Señor está diciendo a la mujer, que tu deseo va a ser por tu esposo. Okay, and this is what you see in when the, you see the patriarch. Es por eso que estamos viendo como en los patriarcas. Jacob and, and his two and his two wives and the two concubines. Jacob y sus y sus dos con, concubinas. I bought you for the night with my mandrakes. <laughs> say what? Say what? I, remember, the one wife says, "I bought you for tonight with my mandrakes." Cuando dice, yeah, te 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 he comprado por por hoy noche por tus mandrakes. I have that. Manda ¿Cómo? Mandrábolas, yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's not, not the men supposed to be chasing the women. The women is supposed to chase the man. No, la mujer no tiene que perseguir a, al hombre, sino la mujer debe perseguir al hombre. This is what the Lord's plan was. Este fue eh, como era el plan del Señor. And now because she desired to be like God, y ahora porque ella desea ser como Dios, she's now going to be in a subservient position. Y ahora ella va a estar en, en una posición de subordinación. Okay. So now because she was the one that was deceived, she's now lower in the order of the family. Oh, es, es porque ella era aquella quien iba a ser engañada. Ahora es, ella está siendo, ¿en uh, what order? She's going to be lower in the order in the family. Ella va a ser uh, de, un poco de nivel bajo en el nivel de la familia. Let's go on to the next slide. Vamos a la próxima página. Let's do um, 17 to 19 again. Versículo 17 al 19 otra vez. To Adam he said, because you listened to what your wife said and ate from the tree with which I gave you the, the order, you're not to eat from it. The ground is cursed on your account. 
You work hard to eat from it as long as you live. It will produce thorns and thistles for you, and you will eat field plants. You will eat bread by the sweat of your forehead till you return to the ground. You were taken out of it. You are dust, and you will return to dust. Go on to the next slide. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, okay. So Adam, now go back to the slide with the verse 17 and 19 tech department. Okay. Adam, God does not curse Adam. Dios no está maldiciendo a Adam. He curses the ground that Adam has to work for. Él maldice la, el, la tierra de la cual él va a tener que trabajar. So he doesn't directly curse Adam except he gonna, he's going to kick him out. Él no está uh, maldiciendo directamente a Adán, sino uh, a lo que él va a tener que hacer para trabajarlo. Okay, now why does he do that? Ahora, ¿por qué él está haciendo eso? Because Adam went along with the sin, but he was not involved directly in the sin. Porque uh, uh, Adán fue el parte de, de ese pecado, pero no fue directamente quien estaba haciendo eso. But even because he was indirectly involved in the sin, pero incluso estando indirectamente involucrado en el pecado. Now his sin touches even more. Ahora su pecado topa más, incluso es más fuerte incluso. Okay, because look at the, uh, um, the second sentence in verse, in verse 17. Mira la segunda parte del versículo 17. You are not to eat from it. The ground is cursed on your account. You will work hard to eat from it as long as you live. Amen. So he was pulled from that ground. Él fue, él fue, a él lo sacaron de, ese, de esa tierra. And now the ground is cursed because he was part of the ground. Ahora esa tierra está maldecida porque él fue parte de esa tierra. That's why when Yeshua was given the title. Es por eso cuando a Yeshua se le fue entregado el título. From his cousin Yochanan John. De su primo Yochanan Juan. The Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. El Cordero de Dios que toma, que quita el pecado del mundo. The, Jehovah cursed the ground that y Adam was pulled from. Jehovah maldijo la tierra de donde Adán fue, de donde salió Adán. So here, Messiah's blood had to heal the earth. Aquí la sangre del Mesías tenía que sanar la tierra. Then we go to verse 19. You will eat bread by the sweat of your forehead till you return to the ground. For you were taken out of it. You are dust. You will return to dust. Amen. Amen. So now we, we have to eat bread. Ahora debemos comer pan. Okay, before we ate fruit. Antes comíamos frutas. Now we're eating bread that we have to harvest from the ground. Ahora comemos este pan que, que tenemos que cosechar de, uh, de la tierra. And that puts a whole another understanding of the maná that fell from heaven. Esto toma otro entendimiento del maná que fue, que, que se derramó del cielo. And why God gets so angry when they go out to pick up bread on the seventh day. Y porque es por eso que Dios se enoja, porque el Señor se enojó por salir a, a recoger el pan en... To go and pick up bread, right? You don't want to pick up bread. Porque salió a recoger pan. Okay, go to the next slide. Próxima página. In verse 17. En el versículo 17. To be leaders, we first must listen to the word of God. Para ser líderes, primeramente debemos de escuchar a la palabra de Dios. In verse 17. En el versículo 17. There is a twofold punishment to Adam. Hay dos, dos castigos para Adán. The first... El primero is he gets the ground cursed because of what he did. Es que la tierra es, es, fue maldecida por lo que él hizo. Now here's the other part, everybody. Aquí está la otra parte. Because man didn't listen to the word of God. Porque el hombre no escuchó la palabra de Dios. He didn't protect his family. Él no protegió su familia. Now he's going to die. Ahora él va a morir. He's going to be kicked out of the garden. Él va, le van a echar fuera del jardín. So now his death brings condemnation on the family. Ahora su muerte va a traer condenación a su familia. By listening to his wife, al escuchar a su esposa, his superiority, su superioridad, and running God's planet has now been diminished. Al correr los, los planes de Dios, ahora es, se disminuyeron. When we break the divine commandments of God, cuando quebrantamos los, los, los mandamientos divinos de Dios, then there's going to be death in our lives. 
Entonces va a existir muerte en nuestras vidas. Going on to the next slide. Verse 20. Versículo 20. The man called his wife Hava, life, because she was the mother of all living. Amen. This verse 20. Este versículo 20. Proves that there are no races on the planet. Pro, eh, esto prueba que no hay uh, racismo, races. Races like black, white, Guatemalan. Razas en el planeta. Okay, there are no races. No hay razas. Because Hava is the mother of all the living people that ever come to the planet. Porque Hava es la madre de todo ser viviente que, que vino al planeta. Okay, because she's the mother of all living. Porque es la madre de todo lo viviente. Verse 21. Versículo 21. Five more minutes, everybody. Jehovah Elohim made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. Amen. Amen. Okay, Jehovah displays mercy. Vemos aquí que Jehovah él entrega misericordia. By providing clothing for the for his for Adam and Chava. Al proveer estas estas vestimentas para Adam y Chava. Now this is the first sacrifice. Este es el primer sacrificio. Because the word skin. Porque la palabra piel. Is H five. 785. Es la palabra H785. It is a or. Es la palabra or. Ayan, uh, Vav, Resh. Okay. It means skin. Eso quiere decir piel. Hide. Esconder. So this was an animal that was sacrificed. Este fue un animal que fue sacrificado. By God himself. Por Dios mismo. Because he, he made garments of skin, a hide, that means an animal. Porque él hizo una, unas vestimentas de un animal. And those, those, that sacrifice would remind them every day of their sin. Y esos sacrificios uh, le, le, les hacían recuerdo de, de su pecado cada día. It was a visible sign that you had sinned against God. Una, una señal visible que, tú, que ellos pecaron en contra de Dios. So God made the first sacrifice. Entonces Dios, Él hizo el primer sacrificio. Which is, your eyebrows just went off your head. No, 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 amigos. Okay. A friend of them. He get, showed them mercy. Él les mostró misericordia. But he also, somebody had to die for your sins. Porque, eh, y también alguien tuvo que morir por tus pecados. So, by doing this, al hacer esto, the act of Elohim laid the foundation for the sacrifices to come. El acto de Elohim, él puso estos cimientos para el, el sacrificio para Dios. Verse 22 and 20, 22 to 24. Yeah, one last slide, 22 to 24. Versículo 22 al 24. Jehovah Elohim said, and now this is also section number eight, section ocho. Esta también es la sección ocho. Jehovah Elohim said, see the man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Now to prevent him, prevent his putting out his hand and taking from the tree of light and eating and living forever. Therefore Jehovah Elohim sent him out of the garden of Eden to cultivate the ground from which he was taken. So he drove the man out. The place of the east of the garden with uh, Garden of Eden, the caravan, flaming sword, which turned in every direction to guard the way of tree of life. In verse 22, versículo 22. let's go back to 22. Regresamos al versículo 22. Jehovah Elohim said, see the man has become, one, become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Who's, who's talking to who? ¿Quién está hablando a quién? That goes back to Genesis chapter 1. Esto regresa a Génesis capítulo 1. So that's a great verse to show to the Jewish people. Este es un versículo muy, muy, muy hermoso que, puede, que puedes enseñarle a la gente judía. Is an angel like God? Es un ángel como alguien como Dios. No. No. So who is he talking to? Entonces, ¿con quién está hablando? He's talking to the or. Él está hablando con el or. That was created in eternity on the first day. Que fue, que fue creado en la eternidad, en el primer día. And that would be Yeshua. Y ese sería Yeshua. Verse 23. Versículo 23. Therefore, Jehovah Elohim sent him out of the garden of Eden to cultivate the ground of which he was taken up. Taken. Amen. Amen. 
This is the price you pay for disrespect. You're out of God's house. Este es el precio que debes pagar por faltar el respeto en la casa de Dios. And this makes you understand your trial even more is more that much more important. Y esto te hace entender que tus pruebas son mucho más importante, tu juicio. This is the price that you pay. Este es el precio que tú pagas. When you supersede the direct word of God with garbage. Cuando su, 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 superseden uh, la, la palabra directa de Dios. See, when you listen to Satan and say, you only got to do these th couple of things. That you don't have to be circumcised. Que no debe ser and it doesn't matter what day you worship on. Que no importa en qué día tú adores, then you're going to get kicked out of God's house. Entonces se te va a sacar de la casa de Dios. Now finally, verse 24. Finalmente, el versículo 24. So he drove the man out and he placed the, in the east of the garden of Eden, the Caribbean. And a flaming sword, which turned in every direction to guard the way to the tree of life. Amen. Amen. So now he puts a carabine. Ahora está a un carabine and a flaming sword at the, the entrance of the Garden of Eden. Una, y, y una espada flamante a la entrada del jardín del Edén. And nobody can get in. Y nadie puede entrar. Unless God allows it. A no ser que Dios lo permita. All right. Amen. We'll take any questions from Skype land. Preguntas en el, la tierra de Skype. Just put your hand up. Levanta su mano. Okay, any questions from Webex land? Una pregunta en Webex. Marty. Marty, you okay, Marty? Did you fall asleep on me? <laughs> no, no, everything is good. Okay? Everything is good, thank you. Very okay. good. You sure? Sí. All right. Any questions in the room? From the faithful? All right. Let's close in prayer. Thank you, Lord, for your blessings today. Thank you, Lord, for this incredible study of the second triennial parasha. May we all learn how important your word is to you. That we should not listen to anybody except you, your written commandments. And you, Yeshua, that follow the written commandments because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to The Remnant's Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, bethgoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation 
If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture. Truly, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our king's word. We close this Shabbat together with the reading of the new week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, Many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. Our phone number is 973-338-7800 or 978-2-YESHUA. That's 978, the number 2, YESHUA. Shalom.